So anyone here to talk to? Oh yeah, these guys. Pen's already here. Alright, mind going through it all one more time, just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened uh, that night when the Great Fairy hit us out of the way? Well, we had our accident uh, here one awful night, and sometime after the upheaval, we saw the Great Fairy nearby, vanished from view. It was troubling somehow. We got our wagon, uh, we got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful! The whole thing! That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Ra uh, off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy that involved one of our most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of the wheels broke and now we can't even transport our instruments to our, to our performances. Or us! That's all I had to do the whole time. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, great uh, the Great Fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. Uh, she did something to the Great Fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left a scene, left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever her reasons the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But with Breezer broken, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. Mm. And the one who caused all this? A blonde-haired woman, you say? Hmm, could that have been? Ah. Hello there, partner. I didn't know you were, all th uh, you were out this way. We have a perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on to you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Well, why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. Hmm. My, rep my reporter instincts are calling out. Could, uh, could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Oh. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we, uh, we're sure it's true, so we have to talk to the great fairy first. Asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You make a decent reporter yet. Ah. Uh, look all the way up the hill. See that big plant in the distance? That's one of the sprout. Uh, one that's sprouting all that pretty stuff. That's uh, that right there is a flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe. That's why she moved near the stable recently. A great fairy who who loves this troupe's musical performance. That alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We mustn't forget that the Great Fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. I forget what voice I did for this guy a few streams ago, so I'm just doing whatever. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. Hmm. If only we had a way to reach her. The breezer's broken, and uh, we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Well... We're finally doing this. Oh, that's not all the right way. God damn it. Oh, prop yourself back up on the rocks. No. No, everything sucks. Fuck. Okay, the wagon is good as new. Uh, I'll take you. I can't believe it. Eileen, he made some sort of change to Breezer. He may be able to be on our way now. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. Oh, we're finally doing this kind of stuff. Can I just, like... Do this? I don't think I... What's going on? The Breezer's rocking! Shut up.
Please don't jostle our breezer. It's very delicate. Shut up. <laughs> Fine, I will get the horse. I was trying to do it efficiently so I don't have to go to the course. Cutscene. Whatever, man. Shut up. I'll take my horse out of the stable and we'll go with a different way. Shut up. Have I not talked to the person at this stable before? I didn't even get a pony point from this stable before. Thanks for waiting. All set. There's something in my eye, and it's bothering me. Shut up about morons. I don't understand why you just can't fucking walk up there. Like, you, you have legs, don't you? It's not exactly how that's supposed to go. There's something in my eye, and it's bothering me. Here, you need to be like this. Good enough. And away we go. Like, I understand you don't go anywhere without the wagon. You're only going, like, a few feet up the road. No one's gonna take your broken wagon. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. We can take it from here. Alright, Maestro. Uh, let's lead, uh, let us lead, let, lead us into the performance. Yeah, yeah. My eye hurts so bad. I love it when this happens. Our little troop must play, uh, with all our heart we can for the great fairy. Dumb looking. And I'm not crying. A freaking eye. Why do you do this now? We finally have access to a great fairy, finally. And now I am crying. Oh wait, I'm supposed to do this. There we go. <laughs> Yahoo yeah. Behold, Violine! The great fairy graces us with her presence! Ah. Truly divine. <laughs> ah. Oh, look at this! <clears throat> Oh, look at this! You really helped out here, partner! I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So, this is a great fairy. Mm -hmm. Ah, I couldn't resist coming out and to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world, uh, the world is not all that, at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land. <laughs> And that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I, I hit myself away. Mm -hmm. But now that I look back on it, while the Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had a feeling something wasn't right. In the deep, uh, deep talk of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. Mm. She looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't quite like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. Yeah. 
On the bright on the bright side, the great fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and uh, get this news written up for the newspaper. Mm. I've worked together to chase two of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Uh, go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. 50 more rupees. Oh, there's also this. It's from Tracy. Lucky Clover Gazette Fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Lucky Clover Gazette design. So Hateno Village's dye shop in Naguda has started up a new service that has something to do with fabrics. I know, I know, I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can uh, show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mm. It would be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. I'm going back to take this story to, uh, to I'm going to take this story and head back. This article uh, will keep readers hanging on to every word. Ah. So long! <laughs> Maestro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't know how to play- They didn't like how I played my violin. <laughs> violin? That wasn't it at all! Why, you moved- I'd given him, like, six different voices. You moved, uh, the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess... I really did do that, didn't I? I heard the other great fairies are also hiding away in their buds. <gasps> uh, I bet if you... I mean, we play music for them. That'd cheer them up, too. Yeah, yeah. A brilliant idea. Uh, and you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop. The Stable Trotters! <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of, uh, of two now, but, uh... Oh, just you wait. Uh, I just know we'll get the other musicians back to us somehow. Well, I already did that. They should show up now. Uh, now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Yes, please. Huh? I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Huh? You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're, uh, they're, as, uh, they're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. <laughs> oh, there's one up there. We haven't been there. We haven't been to Mija. But then we have Kesa and Cortera. Mm hmm. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I en enhance your clothes for oh. you? With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance it a little bit. It's finally time to level up our goddamn gear. Hmm. We're going to be doing this for a while. Huh? Blow me a delicious kiss. Climbing gear. Uh, some sets, if you enhance each part of the set twice, it gives you a special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you. can level up the sheet okay so all the amiibo gear pretty much okay so we can still get the scales uh from all the dragons we need that to level up this stuff this stuff from breath of the wild is unenhanceable uh the cc hat is sadly unenhanceable uh and typically all of the amiibo gear uh from i need electric resolve was horn for that all the amiibo gear from like all the different link sets you need uh, star fragments to level up. Uh, I will level up the mm -hmm. Sheik Mask, and we'll use a star fragment on that. This is what the duplication glitch would have been great for, but I didn't want to do that. There was, there's probably going to be more of them that people will find that I'll be able to take advantage of later on. But there we go. 
Seems my little sisters are still secluding themselves in their flower buds in the, dist in the in distress. If you see a giant flower bud on your journey through Hyrule, please play lovely music for them too. Mm. My little sister, Kesa, said she was going to the stable near Ger the Gerudo region southwest of here. Bye. Very good. <laughs> Let me go back down to the stable. Also, I wasn't even paying attention to the champion tunic. They didn't say I could level it up, but I wasn't paying attention to what I needed exactly. Okay, these guys are gone now. Wait, did they take my horse? Okay, she got boarded up. Okay, then how- I don't know how the hell they got around. Uh, let's go to the other ones, shall we? I mean... Okay, no, they are here. They didn't load in. You see, we got the- we got most of the group. We're missing one person. This is beautiful, first of all. I just got chills throughout my entire body. Without Cass playing Epona's song at Stables anymore, these are the guys that replaced that, and that makes me so happy. This sounds so beautiful. Fitter is it our biggest fan. Thanks to you, Beats and Etis came back. Please accept my humblest gratitude for easing their worries. Thank you, most uh, musicalously, whatever you said. The beat that makes you dance, and a horn, uh, and a horn melody that brings sunshine to the world. No one can resist us. Uh, I'm brimming over with happiness to the point I can't keep a lid on it. I must say, it's good to see a friendly face, uh, one who no doubt shares my concern for the great fairy. Oh, I must be, I must be mistaken. I merely assume, uh, assumed because great fairy Corterra is such a notable attraction in Twin Peaks. Yes, I'm aware. Shut up. The bridge of the Great Fairy is broken. How are horses supposed to cross? Oh. Yo, if the uh Yo, if the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? Yeah, yeah. That's right, we can cross the river! To the river, everyone, all together now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the Great Fairy will give her uh blessing when she wakes up. If you have the time, I'd be honored if you uh, could be there for our performance. Okay, so they're just gonna be over there now? I don't have to, like, drag them over? Oh. Never mind. They lost all their wheels conveniently. No. The bridge is a bust, but I th thought it might not be so hard to cross the river. I see that I was mistaken. Even if we look off, uh, took off our breezer's wheels uh, and floated across the river. The current uh, wouldn't run uh, around great fairies so near yet so far. I have absolutely no idea what to do. Oh, no. oh. Shut up. Oh. Where the fuck did the wheels go, first of all? See what I can do? It's going on its own. It's perfect. It's perfectly fine. This 
This is funny and painful to watch. Well, how is he supposed to get them across the river? There's no other way across the river. The bridge is broken. I made my own goddamn bridge, and the game doesn't want my fucking bridge to work. I don't even know if I can use a steering stick. No, you're making it worse by interrupting me. You're making it worse by interrupting me. Don't interrupt me, asshole. I'm d everything's under control. Oh. Shut up. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! You talking to me is make it, making it worse. I'm like clipping through this now. Shut the fuck up, we're literally there. And now we're here, see? Never doubted it. The Great Fairy! Everyone places, places, the Great Fairy needs us! Kind of like the song that's in Wind Waker, but it's not exactly the song that's in Wind Waker. I think my heart just picked up the tempo. The uh, the musical stylings of the stable charters are, are the cure for anyone's malice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you once again. I prepared a token of thanks. 
uh, so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. Hyrupus. And now that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. I am proud to say that the great fairy Corterra is at peace. But she wasn't the last fairy still shut away in her flower bud. That's why we must visit all, uh, uh, be off to visit the next great fairy. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. Oh, what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air, it's so intoxicating. The beat of the drum uh, has lit a, f a deep fire in my heart. Mm. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you uh, ready for more? I sure am. Ah. Please, give it to me. Give it mm. to me! Enhance my pants! Ah. Mm. Yes! <laughs> yes, my pants. Sheikah mask, get all this stuff. Champion tunic. I need light dragon scales. So, I wish I could say this is a blind reaction to hearing this. I haven't been seeing any spoilers for this game at all on social media, which is great, until randomly, specifically yesterday. Like, everybody and their mother was talking about this particular dragon, which means there's a fourth dragon in the game. Because before it was just uh, the dragons based off of the goddesses. But apparently there's a, f a fourth dragon that would have been really cool to hear that there's a fourth dragon in the game. But apparently I knew this yesterday because there's just like a hundred different people randomly all talking specifically about the fact that there's a fourth dragon in the game yesterday. So... Uh, we don't know anything about- I don't know anything about this dragon, at least. I just know that it exists. I don't know where you find it. I don't know what it does. I don't really know anything else. So. Ah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Yippee. Oh, Pen's here. Oh. Hello, partner. Are you here to investigate the rumors too? I admire your spirit. Most folks would uh, would leave a story until a bit later in the day, but not you. You're the real deal. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Yeah. Oh, you're also a reporter. I just had a bit of a strange experience, is all. Oh. You see, uh. I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That's what it. That's what she said to me. Mm. The woman sounded really desperate, so I decided to follow her. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Oh. Hey, partner. Does something strike you odd about this uh, about this person whose identity can't be revealed? Mm. Uh, and if uh, revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous, could she be the sum a someone of great importance? And her life is already in danger. Uh, combining these facts makes me wonder if uh, this isn't actually a peculiar important person who's gone missing. I can't be sure, of course, but there's a slight chance. There's only one way for us to know for sure. We'll have to peck our way through the news and see what the truth is. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about it, the whole thing again, why was the woman sta uh, staring so hard at my hair? How strange. Oh. Well, let's do this first. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. fairy, yes. No. Great fairy. Uh, sound of a flute would cheer her up. 
But Piper isn't around right now. Piper is a young flutist with the stable trotters, but one day he took his leave from a troop, and we haven't seen him since. Traveler from Farron to the southeast said they heard a sound of a flute from a Highland stable. Uh, that is all the way down here. Highland stable is right here, if I'm not mistaken. If it's in the Farron region, it's this stable. So, it might be a while before we get this one. So, it's good to know that they're here performing a Pona song and making me feel cool. So... <gasps> Okay, there is a person here. Unless this is a, a Yiga person. Someone. Oh no, my poor friend. Please, you must save her. You okay? B -b Blonde hair. I do not know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, for that would make things worse. She's hiding in an... Uh, and unable to move, my friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself. Thank you so much. My friend is in hiding right now. That is the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. Ah. We should go where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. We do not want to draw evil near her. Uh -huh. I wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you possibly can. Uh, the woman said she could guide you to the person in need. She took off down the road. I mean, I don't know if it wants me to not be seen by monsters. Which I could put on the stealth here. And just kind of walk over there. Unless I, like, just take you out from a distance. You don't bother me. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted. Okay. not looking at me. Oh wait, I should just do this. What am I doing? I have Majora's Mask. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I quite literally have Majora's Mask. Except you don't give a shit. Okay. Didn't I just kill you? Hey, apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken uh, by my concern for my friend. She is resting safely out of sight. Is the only safe only way to stay safe. I'm sorry that the path is so poor. Ah. Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? Uh -huh. uh, we can meet right there when you uh, see fallen debris. How do you know about that, huh? Making me a little annoyed that I have to do this the, the long way. It's like right there, and I'm gonna have to use a thing. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> it must be him then. I am so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. He was waiting uh, nearby, around the debris on the uh, on the opposite cliff. I will go ahead and let her know that you are coming. <laughs> it's a bit far off, but I know you'll be able to make it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't worry, I'm prepared to suplex anyone who comes my way. I'm sorry for all of that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another. Oh, you and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to, to do good. <laughs> you are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the swordsman Link, correct? <laughs> Great, I know what's happening now. I'm so glad to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop in our little journey. <laughs> your grave! Ha ha! <laughs> My scoop! Alright, well, I don't want to be in a gib suit right now. I actually have good armor now. Ow. Get out of here. It would have been cool if Master Koga showed up, but... Oh, I'll let you off this time, but don't expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself! No. Hey! Hey, partner! So this is where your investigation took you. Looks like you really got yourself out, of, uh, out on a limb there. I've been scouting from the sky, trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. I thought I heard her voice, so I swooped down and hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? Uh, it was an assassination attempt, don't worry about it. I see. Uh, who could have guessed that this whole story would be an elaborate trap by the Yiga clan? If you didn't know, they are a group of assassins trying to bring down the kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they were uh, good at disguising themselves, but praying, uh, playing the part of a villager? I never would have guessed. All that f uh, to flush out the swordsman who protects the princess. Ah. They thought you were young up... <laughs> the, he doesn't know who I am, that's right. A young up-and-coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair. They believed you were actually that swordsman? That's just bad luck for you. You've definitely got some skills. Though, if you can escape from the Eager Clown, I'm pr Clown? The Eager Clown? I'm proud of you, partner. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like Junior Reporter Falls to the Cruel Blade of the Eager in Pursuit of the Truth. Hmm. We worked together to chase three of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Mm. I didn't think making progress would go so smoothly, you know. I guess it helps to have a dedicated partner. <laughs> go, uh, go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh. That's right, Tracy. Uh, has has had another has nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time this time around. No surprise there. Twenty rupees. Anyway. It's time I took off and turned these unusual details uh, into an article. You take care, partner. So long! It is 8.08 right now. I want to keep going a little bit longer just to do all these things at the stables we currently have unlocked. So that way when we get to other stables, we'll be able to do them. Uh, I guess next is uh, Riverside Stable. Also, by the way, there's a well here. I went into that well off stream. I forgot we didn't go into that well before. There was nothing in there other than, like, a chest that had, like, nothing in it. I've been hearing some chirps and warbles from my little my little birds. They say some regular guests of the stable are late to arrive. Very late. 
The chef here, Goddard, I was going to meet uh, to learn a new recipe, one that Princess Zelda taught them. Hmm, my keen reporter instincts say that something is wrong here. Goddard has been over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved this whole time. Mm. Let's see. It's not unusual for guests to decide not to show up, right? But what if they're unable to? They were coming to share the recipe from Princess Zelda. Hmm, that could be part of this. Oh. These chirps and warbles are, are worth looking into. <laughs> My minecart shield is badly damaged. Oh. That isn't right. Agus and the rest would have, uh, would have to cross that bridge to get here. Oh. I didn't notice you there. You a customer? If you're looking for stable services, head over to the counter. I went in here to greet uh, greet some guests that we were expecting. It's well past they said they'd be arriving. It's extremely worrying. Oh. Uh, they always cross uh, Alwyn Bridge in the, uh, in the past when coming here. I figured I'd keep an eye on the bridge to catch a sight of them eventually. Uh, the guests are all gourmets. The leader named uh, is a chef named Agus. Has taught me a lot about cooking. Oh. They were all excited to visit. I was looking forward to it. I uh, they have a recipe from Princess Zelda to share. If Agus and the and the other others have tents, then maybe they're uh, taking a trip nice and slow, camping along the way. So they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Let's go investigate the bridge. You need to catch up to your friend. Oh no. Whatever shall we do about that? He's all the way over there? I'm not going over there. Fuck you. Well, oh, Addison is on the opposite side of the bridge. I believe there used to be a Korok underneath this bridge in Beans of the Wild, but I do not see it now. Uh, I think we have to get creative again. Just stick this in here. Uh, connect it. Not exactly what I wanted to do there. I can take this tree branch and attach it like that. That's totally gonna work. Try it this way. Nice. Twenty rupees. <laughs> Sneaky mushroom balls. Cool. I don't think we've been to this... No, we were here. We were on the opposite side of it. That's where we got that one memory from. Oh, but they are camping over here. Why would they be camping out here when they're literally right next to the stable? And they could go sleep there. Animal meat. Are you all in a trance? Ah. Oh no, they seem to all be in a trance. Oh no, they're all dead. Mm. Who suggested? Who said monster meat? Mm. Help, please.
please, Princess Zell, her recipe is written. Don't improvise. Princess Zelda's meat and rice bowl. Combine raw meat, highly in rice, and rock salt. A serviceful, uh, uh, comforting dish is sure to fill, uh, fill you with energy, but be sure to follow the recipe to the letter. Well, it literally said that. A raw meat, highly in rice, and rock salt. Raw meat. Uh, highly in rice, rock salt. Meat and rice bowl. Aww. Aww. Ah, that smell. Aww. Hey you, yeah you. And I have that meat and rice bowl? Please, please, I need to eat it. <laughs> I recognize this flavor. This is the recipe Princess Zelda shared with us. Jules, Jelly, uh... And I, hurry up and take a bite of this. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping us. We were not doing well at all. Princess Zelda taught us how to cook at this dish quite some time ago. We ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness for us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. Uh... I do remember uh, now that she, she said we need to follow the recipe exactly. <laughs> uh, whose bright idea was it to substitute monster parts in the place of real meat? Uh, it was me, sorry. I'm just curious how it would taste. I thought maybe her recipe would work well with monster parts. Uh, the road to gourmet greatness is littered with uh, with stuff you stuff you wouldn't think is tasty. You gotta expand your palate. Uh, Now's not the time to sit and figure out the best practices uh, for future dietary exploits. We've got to get to Riverside Stable. We're so late. I'm sure Goddard's been worrying about us. Uh, really grateful for your help. Uh, let me say again, on behalf of everyone, thank you. You don't even know us, but you even valued ingredient. Uh, you use valuable ingredients to save us from from ourselves. Take this. I got my rice back, mm. and this, and my salt back. Mm. Oh, raw gourmet meat. <laughs> we like cooking with the very best raw meat when we have it. You can use all that to cook yourself uh, a, a meat and rice bowl sometime. Anyway, we like to uh, better get ready to head back to Riverside Stables planned. Ah. Oh, I love it isn't my partner. Hi. Oh. Any luck finding the missing travelers yet? I started to scout for them in the sky when I saw you down here. You chased them down. Chase down any leads? <laughs> what? They were right here, too crazy to even move, and you helped them get back on their feet again. <laughs> Interesting. So the chirps and warbles really were onto something. I'm impressed that Princess Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. Mm. We worked together to take uh, four of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Go ahead and add this to your nest egg, partner. There's another thing. Tracy uh, sent a bonus. Froggy sleeve! A good sleeve for a rainy day. Small dimples on the fingers act as suction cups. Uh, suction cup, man? I get to become suction cup, man? Giving good grip on wet, slippery surfaces. Oh. It's pretty rare. Pretty rare. <clears throat> it's pretty rare gear that'll make it easier on uh, to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. Uh, it's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll help you reach new heights, partner. Your recipe for Prince from Princess Zelda is perfect for getting folks into fighting shape. Ah, the article almost writes itself. Ah. Almost. So long. <laughs> All right, I should go. <laughs> Do that stupid Korok over here while, I'm, while it's here. Like, I don't want to leave it alone. Oh, there is a Korok down here. I knew there still had to be a Korok underneath this bridge. Yeah, ha, ha. You found him. And then we've got to get this guy. Here, you fool. <laughs> Shut up, I already know. <laughs> Gotta 
do it the old-fashioned way. Roll them down the river. Uh, and then... Get a fan. Take out device, please. Don't want to slice this thing in half. <laughs> Why must you be like this? You know what? I wanted to go over here anyway. I guess we'll just drag you the rest of the way. <laughs> because uh, we haven't been to this bridge yet. Uh, this is not a plot important bridge, but off the Great Plateau you'd normally come to this bridge and there'd be a shrine here. And there'd also be a guy on the bridge uh, just chilling out. And if you uh, tried to jump off the bridge, he'd be like, don't jump off the bridge, you have so much to live for. I'm gonna see if that guy's still silly sitting on the bridge. No, we're being attacked by Aracudas. Because, yeah, we're right here. We haven't been to East Post Ruins yet. There'll be a shrine right there. I almost thought the frickin' Aracuda was gonna pick up the Korok <laughs> and take him away, which would have been really funny. Excuse me, I'm trying to bring my friend to his friend. Are you being a rude motherfucker? We're going this way. Roll all the way over here, that's fine. I am actually curious about this area too. We haven't been to really this side of Dueling Peaks. Because when we were, we were over there. So I'm kind of curious if they uh, kept any Koroks over here or something. Because there used to be one over here. There's a blue nightshade, I need those. Uh, we got little goblins up here. Uh, there is a Korok. Pretty much doing the exact same thing you did in Breath of the Wild to get this Korok. Right over here. Yeah. Yippee. Pen. Oh. Hey, partner. Uh, you have a good day? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We can squawk about that later. Ah. Got a very interesting lead. About our missing princess, we have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if, uh, one, uh, one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed this stable's farm tools. Mm. Sounds a bit unusual, why would the princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them, and didn't! 
Now, all this might seem very trivial, but she's a busy princess after all. Still, there are strange times. These are strange times. So, uh, so I got to thinking, only weapons, only decayed weapons during the upheaval. Only weapons decay during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools. Wait, Pen, hold on. You've gotten ahead of yourself. <laughs> we need to gather the facts. When, what, where, and who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here. He watches over the stable raft. Uh, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. <laughs> everyone inside. You're not that. You're also not that. As of these guys. Uh, where the hell did he go? I'm supposed to be looking for someone here. Is it down here? Oh yes, down here. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess? I was wondering when you guys would show up. Uh, you work with Penn from the newspaper, right? I didn't want to get this out, because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. Uh, but she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. That was a long time ago. But I do remember she said she needed them uh, for something at uh, Florit Sandbar. It's around the river bend, and then a good distance after that. Uh, I take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. Uh, you might say I'm in a bit of a bind. Uh, I know uh, I could clear things up, clear this mess. Someone could take me down the river to Florit Sandbar on the raft. I can do that. What? You mean that, fella? You'll take me to Florit Sandbar? Uh, thanks. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. And away we go. Uh... Probably do this ahead of time. But... I don't think that far ahead. Can I steer this? That would be really funny if I could. Oh, I sure can. Roll it down. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Wait. 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 I have a bit. I have a bit. Yeah! <laughs> We're schmoovin'! You did a great job getting us here. Where'd you learn to handle a raft like that? I thought it'd be a rough run, but it turned out fine. Ah, uh -huh. uh, up in the sky, there's something, uh, someone coming at us. Oh, it's Pen. <sighs> you, finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find, uh, find our facts. But I saw you on this raft. I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right down to help, but, uh, where are we? Uh. <gasps> it's Flower Blight Ganon! It's her! Oh, no! <laughs> what do you think you're doing here, just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants! All of them! Precious! You, you better watch out! You'll rue the day you trample any of them! 
I can't believe there's a quest related to Flower Blight Ganon. <laughs> Whoa, who's this? Ever met her before, partner? Sorry, ma'am, we're just looking for some farm tools I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise I won't pick any flowers. Huh? Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them! <laughs> Wait a minute, farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Huh. That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Oh, oh well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is it's home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants. I spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, uh... but the princess, well, they say she went missing. Huh. All of our hard work was ruined when these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to make, uh, make it all nice again. Uh... Really? That's what happened? Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed my stable tools back. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them back when you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry uh, hurry it up. Mm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds like our princess... Uh, sounds like our princess to find time to work on a garden alongside the folks with, while restoring Hyrule. Uh. I tried to make these garden beds as perfect as, uh, as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Oh. Sure. Glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also... Nope. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, what's with the face? What? You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Uh? What? I didn't say that. You literally said you'd help. Ma? Well, close enough. Uh, so what if you don't uh, say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now how about you go and work that soil like you said. I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. I'll be, uh, it'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip for me. Put your back into it. Ah. Can't talk my way out of this one. She'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up, up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I'll help. Ah. You can go. I'll stay here. What else uh, have I got to do, right? Yeah, Flower Blight Ganon, that's who oh. she is. It's, she's the uh, the fifth Blight Ganon. There was a uh, fire, wind, water, thunder, and flower. Uh, well, see, uh, it seems like we got those facts we wanted, and those two worked it all out, I guess. Can't wait to write this up. Our readers love uh, glimpses into the princess's life, and here she was, helping create a garden. Expect the story in an issue of the newspaper soon. It'll be a real headline. Mm. You know, we now chase down five of the leads that might have something to do with Princess ah. Zelda. <laughs> a raise, a hundred ruples. I'm out, uh, off to report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. Ah. So long. Pen's a good guy. I know people miss Cass, but Pen's pretty neat. So for anyone who didn't play Breath of the Wild, oh, they put a whole they put a whole fountain here. It's nice here. For anyone who hasn't played Breath of the Wild or doesn't remember, uh, there used to be a shrine right here, uh, but the entire area uh, was surrounded by a flower maze, and you had to go through the flower maze without touching any of the flowers to get to the shrine, or you could probably like paraglide over it. Uh, but. <laughs> If you stepped on any of the flowers, she would flip out, and if you did it too many times, she would have a temper tantrum and almost kill you. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take the silent princesses and all your other flowers that I can pick up uh, from around the sanctuary. Uh, it's for a good cause, uh, because I need them. God damn it. I'm just bringing it up just in case. Now then, there's no time to rest. I need to restore Hyrule's uh, best garden as soon as possible so it's ready for when the princess returns. Ah. All I wanted was those missing farm tools. I didn't expect anything like this. But for Princess Zelda, I'll work my hardest. I'm really curious. Ah? Oh, ouch, that hurts. What are you doing? That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming if they could scream. Ah. So listen to them, and don't do such awful things.
I have to for the content. Huh? We told you already, that hurts. What would we do if our little petals got torn off? We are beautiful living things who never hurt anyone in this world. What kind of thoughtless monster would you be to stomp all over us? Is what the flowers uh, you ruined would be screaming if they could scream. Uh Listen to them and don't do such awful things. <laughs> Such a long loading screen. Uh -huh. Told you time and time again how painful that is. All the uh, world loves a flower, you know. Flowers are beautiful, colorful, and have pleasant scents. It's no surprise that we're so cherished, but it's surprising that you would go out of your way to hurt us. Uh -huh. Do you think that makes you tough? Hurting poor innocent defenseless things? Oh, so scary. Whatever. Just don't come on us again. Got it? Is what the flowers uh, you ruined would be screaming if they could scream. Uh -huh. We have to make sure we don't get repeated dialogue because there's content there. Have you ever played Undertale? And there's the repeated dialogue. Okay, she doesn't get mad at me. Oh wait, she said something else in the log. I was look. I didn't think she'd say something else. <laughs> I gotta do it one more time now. Huh? Huh? Oh, she, now she said something that I didn't even see. She said something about I saw Hyrule in red text, but I didn't see what it said. Well, I guess we got this. Uh, well, I saw a Korok, and I have to go for it. Actually, did doing that respawn all the things? Because I'm pretty sure I collected these already, and I think it respawned a bunch of stuff. Honestly, it would be easier to go across the river and then jump off the bridge. <laughs> I forgot I'm also still in Pro Hood. I really forgot about this small little section of Hyrule that I hadn't gone to yet. Oh, and my boy is you. Hello, my boy. Put that right in the middle there. Do a little bit of that. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Please let me talk to you. Please let me talk to you. Rupees? <laughs> Meaty rice balls. Ah! Whoa. Let's go get this Korok. Uh, because of the weird placement of this one, I'm probably gonna have to use a rocket. Away it goes. Uh, is there anything else? We haven't gone over here before. I'll do that eventually. Uh, we did dueling peaks. We did this stable. We did this stable. We just did this one. We did this one. Uh, I think the last one on our trip right now is a new Serene Stable. Oh, 
And while we're at New Serene Stable, I had completely forgotten at the end of the last stream, I said I wanted to go explore a cave that was over here in this little area. And then it's been uh, five hours later and I just remembered. <laughs> well, that's how we'll finish off the stream is go over there. Careful there, partner. You went and scared the little birds away. It's too early to be so loud. You go storming around like that and it won't won't just be birds you send flying in for the hills. It's fine though, I did hear some interesting chirps and wobbles from them. Mm. I don't want to say this too loud to start a panic, but rumors are spreading about Princess Zelda that she's been uh, riding some mysterious beast. Mm. It's said to be a mountain, a, a mountain uh, of a beast, too. One with huge, brutal tusks. That's like the one that's been heard about in the Farron region. No little reporter has never seen something so frightening. Also, that sounds interesting, because if you don't have the context for that, it sounds like she's- like Zelda is riding Dark Beast Ganon around. <laughs> of course, uh, what made for it- uh, far worse was that it seemed like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. Mm. I find it hard to believe a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule. But if this terrifying monster exists, then it's imp then the implications make this a very, very, very huge story. Huh? You know, there were guests at this stable talking about some kind of rumored beast. My little uh, bird informants told me that th there have been a number of sightings in the tropical region to the south. If we want to learn more, we should dive beak first into this stable and others to see if there's any truth to these rumors. We just need to uh, to peck away at this until we figure out its uh, figure out its enticing truth or elaborate fiction. Uh, freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Arito Village. Yes. Hi. Uh, Hi. Yep. Yeah. I mean, is anyone else talking about anything here? These guys? Yeah, these guys. I'll start visiting stables and learn about rumored beasts tomorrow. We have to get the legendary weapon. Alright, so I don't know if there's anyone else I need to talk to here. It probably just wants me to go to Farron. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's AM right now. I need to wait for these guys to, like, wake up fully. But too bad. We're going over here. I had completely forgotten about going over here. Royal Ancient Lab Ruins. Here we go. We got a boss over here, too. Uh, this means I can swing around my stuff. And it's so funny that it starts raining right as these guys have, you know, fire to hit me with. Die. And they're gone. Doesn't even stand a chance. So usually... There was a Korok over here. Is there still a Korok over here? I remember it being a flower one where I had to chase a flower around. It could just be this. Nope, there's a frog. Not seeing anything super of importance here. Didn't mean to overexert myself. Uh, just a random piece of wood that I can't even move. Um. I don't think it has anything to do with that over there. Maybe there's just isn't one, and it's just the the area where there's just a boss bow goblin roaming around. 
Uh, while I'm over here, I may as well go to here real quick. Uh, because that's the tree where one of the memories took place at in Breath of the Wild, so it could have some significance. Uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, or it also could not have any significance at all, but I gotta go find out. More honey over there. Actually, it might be this tree, it might be a different tree. I think it was this tree. If it's a different tree, it's back this way, and I don't have the map unlocked for it yet. Uh, it looks similar. However, there is a Korok here. So it was worth coming here anyway. Uh, I think that was the tree. Check this area out. Nothing particularly here. You used to be able to find, like, ambers underneath uh, broken down carts. That's rude of you to do that. I'm just trying to get these fire fruits from you. alone. Uh, I guess I should go there. But, like, I really should probably wrap things up. <laughs> but now that I'm over here, I have to go. on top of this thing. Yeah, now that I'm totally exploring, I feel like I should be over here. Like, real quick, quickly like, because there's a stable over here. I didn't even mean to come over here and do this. Do I have a speed thing in my inventory? Did I make another speed thing? Oh, I have plenty of speed things. Let me just use this real quick. Uh... Well, there... There was a stable here. What happened to the stable? <laughs> This is not the way to Hitano Village. I can't get lost now, not after spending all that time with the Gerudo sand, uh, uh, doll maker learning to make uh, sand seal plushies. I refuse to give up on my dream of handling the, handing out, handing these out to the school kids. I can't wait to uh, see their faces light up when I uh, give them these stuffed toys. I hope I can remember not to glare at them. Oh, I know, I should uh, practice my routine so I can hand out the toys with a smile. Hi kids, I'm the sand seal lady. Not much pizzazz to it. How about... Ah! Hello, kitties! It's nice to see ya! Everyone's feeling good? Mm. Woof. Bake it till you make it, I guess. It'll be worth it to see those kids beaming with joy. Ah! <laughs> really? Ah! You startled me! Give a gal some warning next time. My toys! I worked so hard to make the ten of them, uh, and now this? How am I supposed to gather all these up by myself? Let me help. Aww. Now you want to help? And start picking them up and loading them into the cart. 
I'll make you a deal. If you can get all ten of them for me, I'll pay you. Uh, but if you're serious about helping, I want to see them all in the cart at the end. Gotta be careful loading the toys in the cart. They tend to fall out when they're not all the way in. Oh. I want to get moving, so make this quick. We keep a track of time. Hold on a sec. You're not thinking about pocketing any of the seals, I hope. These are handmade for children. I'd say I'd pay you if you bring them back, but this is kind of your fault. Give me uh, 20 rupees at deposit. Ah. Why? Oh. 10 stuffed toys, I need you to gather them up for me. Be sure to load them in the cart. Why is this a timed minigame? Attach them into one conglomerate sand seal. I like this remix. <laughs> now get in. Yes, they squeak. That's my one weakness. No way, you're done picking them all up? That was fast. <laughs> nice work. I didn't think you managed to load them all in such a short time. Here's your pay. Your deposit uh, is included in that. Uh, I'll get this smiling, uh, smiling thing down eventually, I hope. Anyway, I clearly need more practice at it. Leave me alone, would you? They destroyed the stable and replaced it with a minigame? I could just keep startling her if I want to do a minigame. Well, now I have to go over here, too. Because I can't just not leave this area alone, you know? I mean, I did stream Kirby for six hours a few days ago. <laughs> Stop it. We're all being rude. Don't hit me. We're fine. Staying in there surprisingly well. Why can we not? Hit you with your own axe. There used to be a shrine and a cliffside over here. Artita exchanged ruins. Seems to just be a lot of boxes and things. Oh, there's a well here, though. Uh. Well, that's rude. Hold on. What? Is it really not any- what is this? What is this and why? Can I not break this? I can break it. I wasn't doing it before. Oh, hello. It was a like like and a lot of ore.
put all this to good use. Soldier shield. Uh, we can drop the Boko shield. Nice amount of resources in there. I feel like they should also hide a Korok here, but I can't remember if there was a Korok here in the first game. This just feels like a place to put them. source of uh, roasted bass. And I'm also curious to see if there's still a hole in the wall over here. It's too much fog so I can't tell. It was like high up over here. If I remember correctly, it was, like, right there, and I don't see it anymore. I feel like they got rid of it. Packed it up. Somehow. Uh, with that, though, it's now been exactly five hours of stream time. I think it is time to stop. Uh... I'm so glad I titled the stream, Going to Rito Village, Are We Doing Our First Dungeon Today? Uh, both of those things didn't even happen. We didn't even make it to Rito Village, and we didn't even get close to the first dungeon. We spent five hours going all the way through here. How did all of this take that much time? I have no idea. I mean, we did backtrack to a couple other areas and did other quests and things, but still. I don't think there is a stable that I'm missing right now. I believe we've done every stable we can at the moment uh, for Pen. Uh, and we need to go to Farin to get another person from the musical troupe. So eventually we'll go to Farin. Uh, but let's head out to Lookout Landing to end things off. Uh, what I want to do real quick is just quick amiibo stuff. With the ones that I really want to use. I'm not going to do all of them. Uh, but just the ones that are necessary. Such as 8-Bit Link. Can I get the thing I'm looking for from 8-Bit Link? I did! I did get the thing I was looking for from 8-Bit Link. One of the things. Sword of the Hero. A sword once wielded by a hero in an ancient age. When it's grasped, a strange sense of nostalgia washes over you. Take it when it's... Da when it's take it! When going alone would otherwise be dangerous. <laughs> Let's go. Drop. I have so many 8 bolt blades. Get these out of my inventory. I believe in uh, in Breath of the Wild, the sword just used to be called Sword. It was just called Sword. They renamed it to Sword of the Hero. But there we go. We get the Zelda 1 sword. Uh, and want to quickly check. We did everything with Revali. Uh, I'm going to scan Breath of the Wild Zelda. Uh, an Opal. I'll take it. Um, yeah, what else am I looking for out of this? Uh, I'll scan Link's Awakening again. I don't know if there's anything else we get from this. I just want to do those. Oh, I never got the fabric from this. Egg fabric. Perfect. <laughs> Tough fabric bearing an egg design. It's the, the windfish egg. Sick. Uh, we'll go take a look at that eventually. Uh, they're selling a bunch more stuff here. Let's talk to Hestu. Uh, what's the next weapon? 35 for the next weapon. Let's fix up the shields. Uh, shield stash, another 10. Well, there you go. We got two extra shield slots.
and I wanted to upgrade Link when we got to Rito Village, but that never ended up happening in the slightest. So we will end with the goddess statue. Uh, stamina vessel. This should give us a second stamina wheel. There we go. A second stamina wheel all the way full. And we'll also do a heart container. Finally, we get up to nine hearts. Go bring peace to the world of Hyrule. And we will do that next time on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. As a YouTube outro, thank you very much for watching Tears of the Kingdom. Up to this point, if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so because I do have a lot to offer, including this full playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom and everything else I have up on my channel. And this is all streamed live at twitch.tv slash Pokeball35. Link in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode where we go do the first dungeon finally.